Hello, today we'll be testing 50 caliber Sabo slugs. These are prototypes and they come from Down Under, also known as Australia. These were designed and built by Denver, who has sent us uh, several other designs he has come up with. All right, what we have is a 50 caliber ballistic tipped hollow point. Now each of these weigh 400 grains. The 3D printed ballistic tip as well as the 3D printed Sabo halves are pretty good indicators that these are in the early, early uh, prototype stage before you commit yourself to making uh, injection molds for these kinds of parts. It's a good idea to test them using the 3D printed technology. After loading the powder in the shell, we'll put in an X12X symmetrical gas seal, followed by a felt wad. After that, we put a thick nitro card on top of that. Then we load the bullet and the Sabo halves. And topping it off, we'll use a clear overshot card to hold everything in place. The last step is putting a roll crimp on there. It looks like a pretty solid design, so let's get out there and test them out. Since Danny just bought a full rifled barrel for his Mossberg 500, this is a perfect setup to test these types of projectiles. Now if you're curious how a rifle choke performs with a Sabo bullet type slug like this, well, this is what it looks like. Remington solid copper? Solid copper, big huge uh, hollow point round. Sabo, it's, it's basically a big giant bullet that's intended for a, rifled barrels. But we're gonna find out what these things do out of a, a rifled choke. 50 yards. 50 yards. Okay, 50 yard. I'm ready. Hit it. That was fast too. Yeah, no delay. It's actually quite amazing he hit the block of wood at all. Look at those knuckleball physics. There's just not enough spin to give that bullet uh, that angular momentum to stabilize it. But that's what it looks like coming out of a rifle choke tube. Okay, ballistic tip. Sabo 50 cal. Okay, I'm ready when you are. All right. There we go, dead center. Big difference. Big difference. That was like a rifle. What happened there? Well, I was aiming dead center in our ballistic Vegemite. <laughs> and right here's our entrance hole. Pass straight through. Right here. Hit our sheet rock. Here's our exit. And it didn't want to open up much, but it's right there. Got our sheet rock. <laughs> Hit our block of wood. Looks like it hit right on a knot because that bullet didn't go very far. There's our bullet it was laying between the block and the sheetrock. Okay, let's look at the Kronos high speed camera and see what happened. Here comes the bullet. Looks like it's very stable flying through the air. There's one of the Sabo halves. Looks like it survived the blast. We've got good spin stabilization, just not a lot of power. These were loaded kind of light for these uh, kind of beta tests. When you test out new projectiles, sometimes it's a good idea to start out with a lower velocity, see how it performs at those speeds, and then start creeping them up until you reach the point where you're just trying to drive them too fast. Okay, ballistic tip versus block of lead. I, what's your guess? Is it going to get stuck in it or go through it? 
Seeing what I did with that knot, I'm going to say it might get stuck in the plate. Okay, I, I, I'm going to say it's going to go through it, because right. I'm optimistic. This is for you lead heads. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. All right, here we go. Ears? Ears is a good idea. Safety squints. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it did not penetrate as much as I thought. Didn't stick like I thought. <laughs> Again, the stability and accuracy were pretty good. He just clipped the edge of the blue tape, but not a lot of penetration. I was thinking because these had a smaller profile, they'd tunnel in a lot deeper, but not so. Okay, I'm ready. Ow. Yikes. <laughs> Something bounced off my shin. Ow. All right, this is our ballistic bowling ball with the 50 cal Foster slugs, or 50 cal Sabos, excuse yep. me. This is as we found it. All we got was rebound, no penetration. Very unusual. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious what the high speed shows. How far ballistic ball stand? <laughs> you can only get one ball in there, by the way. Yeah. I'm guessing we were driving these things around a thousand feet per second. Definitely subsonic by the way it hit the gel block and all that. As far as stability and accuracy, these things were working very well. It really looks like his Sabo design is very solid and functions very well, as well as all the other loading components he chose to use for these types of shells. I think they will work very well at much higher velocities. Hey, I want to thank our Patreons for their generosity. These folks help keep this channel afloat. You can also support this channel by buying a very cool t-shirt, the Ballistic Gummy Bear t-shirt. Um, we get a little bit of cut from those shirts too, so that's a help too. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.